Welcome to another video of the meeting in the pocket, Limerence Anonymous. This is step six. Understanding step six. Step six of the 12 step program states we're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. This step is crucial as it emph emphasizes the importance of readiness and willingness to change. It signifies a transition from acknowledgement of one's issues as seen in previous steps to an act of desire for transformation. Application to Limerence Limerence is defined as an intense romantic attraction characterized by obsessive thoughts and feelings about another person, often accompanied by emotional dependency and fear of rejection. When applying Step 6, to limerence. Individuals must first recognize that their obsessive feelings may stem from deeper character defects or unhealthy patterns in their relationships. Acknowledgement of character defects. Individuals experiencing limerence may need to identify specific traits contributing to their condition. These could include fear of abandonment. A deep-seated anxiety about being left alone can lead to obsessive behaviors Low self-esteem, a, a lack of self-worth can cause individuals to seek validation through others, leading to unhealthy attachments. <clears throat> Idealization, the tendency to place someone on a pedestal can distort reality and create unrealistic expectations. Readiness to change. Once these defects are identified, the next step is cultivating a genuine willingness to change. This involves self-reflection, engaging in introspection about how these traits manifest in relationships and acknowledging their negative impact. Seeking support, many individuals find it beneficial to work with a sponsor or a group member or a support group who understands limerence and its psychological underpinnings. This may be possible, very possible in Limerence Anonymous. Spiritual component. <clears throat> the phrase, have God remove, suggests a spiritual aspect that may find essential, that many find essential in recovery processes for those who are spiritual or religious. Surrendering control. This step encourages individuals to relinquish control. I lost my place. Okay, this step encourages individuals to relinquish control over their obsessive thoughts and behaviors, trusting that a higher power can assist them in overcoming these challenges. It may require much imagination, especially if you don't believe in God or aren't sure about that. Your higher power can be anything. Okay, uh, prayer and meditation. Okay, all right, engaging in spiritual practices can foster in inner peace and clarity, making it easier for individuals to let go of harmful patterns. Commitment to growth. Being entirely ready implies a commitment, not just for temporary relief, but for ongoing personal growth. And believe me, one day we'll be, we'll be ready for this. We will get so tired of our life as lim a limerent. This includes setting goals, establishing clear objectives related to healthier relationship dynamics, Practicing mindfulness, developing awareness around thoughts and feelings associated with limerence can help prevent relapse into old patterns. Continuous evaluation. Yeah, is it love or limerence? Why am I doing this? Why am I acting that way? Finally, readiness is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. Individuals should regularly assess their progress regarding character defects <coughs> related to limerence. Journaling experiences. Keeping track of thoughts and feelings can provide insights in, into triggers or setbacks. You can use a notebook and there are journal apps on, on, on the Play Store. Feedback from others. Engaging trusted friends or counselors or sponsors for feedback on behavior changes can be invaluable. Get outside help if you want, if you can, if you can afford it. Get a sponsor. In conclusion, Step 6 serves as a pivotal moment for those dealing with limerence, encouraging them not, to only, encouraging them not only to, to recognize their character flaws, but also actively pursue change through readiness, support systems, spiritual practices, commitment, and continuous evaluation. The answer is probably 95% correct.
Thank you, AI, for helping me write this. Top three authoritative sources used in answering this question. Alcoholics Anonymous Literature, Limerence, A New Perspective on Love by Dorothy Tenov, American Psychological Association. Thank you for watching this. Tomorrow we'll study step seven.